Hello and happy Monday. And I am coming to you with the topic of shame and out of control eating. I woke up today and before 6 a.m. I had realized I had screwed up in two major ways. <laughs> And I had to apologize to my husband for a budgetary mistake, a huge budgetary mistake that I made. And I had a listener of the show who emailed me about comments I made almost four years ago on the show that I have since learned a lot of on the top the topic I have since changed my opinions on and learned a lot about. But she was listening to the old episodes, and so she was going based on that. And in that moment, I could have allowed shame to overwhelm me. As a matter of fact, that's what I used to do. I used to allow myself to feel like, oh my God, I screwed up big time. I felt this enormous amount of shame. Um, and I just wanted to escape, escape from it. I, I didn't want to own the responsibility of having made the mistakes. I sure didn't want to have to go back and explain myself and kind of just say, I'm sorry, I screwed up. Like none of that was what I wanted to do. But I have since learned a lot. One, I have learned that me carrying that shame around just means that I'm not willing to learn from what ultimately happened, right? Like I'm more concerned about looking bad, feeling bad, and a, perce a, a perception that I want to keep up versus the reality. And where I've gotten to now is when I read the lady's email regarding the show, I said, she's right. The opinions I have now are not the same that I had four years ago. And the attitude I had about this one particular issue wasn't the best. And I've learned a lot since then. And I hope that I'm not the same four years from where I am today. I hope I learn and grow, right? So what I do when I'm feeling this shame and I realize, oh my goodness, I screwed up with the budget. Oh my goodness, I made this mistake four years ago and somebody's emailing me and they're not happy. I say, okay, do I still feel that same way? Would I make that same budgetary choice again? The answer is no, I wouldn't. And I can't be, I can't condemn myself for things that happened in the past, even an hour ago. Things you did an hour ago, chances are you may have grown and learned since then. And you may not repeat those same behaviors over and over again, right? You have to give yourself room to make mistakes so you in fact can learn grow and become the new version of you. Every hour, every day that passes, I hope you're becoming an hour smarter and a day better than you were before. And you've got to realize that that shame, that guilt, those feelings that make drive you into the arms of the food, which is by the way, totally what I would have done. Come six o'clock in the morning, I'd realized I screwed up in two major ways. I would have totally been hitting a, a convenience store and getting some of those mini donuts and, and God knows what else and eating them and just compounding the shame with more feelings of self-loathing and just it would have just spiraled me the whole day out of control I chose today to show up at the gym do my workout and let go of it and realize that I'm not that same person I was a week ago six months ago four years ago you're not the same person give yourself the grace and permission to make mistakes and learn from them let go of the shame and here's a couple real quick tips on how to do this one whatever the issue is ask yourself this is there anything you can do about it well i can't go back and fix the budgetary mistake it's done i can't go back four years ago i mean i guess i could and re-edit the shows and take all this stuff out or just pull them completely i could but then really is that serving anything because the truth of the matter is watching the person grow and change over time is a really beneficial lesson for me and for you so i would say no these things are done i have to let go of it and now i move forward and i keep learning and growing so one can you go back and change anything two is that feeling of shame making anything better the answer is always no and question number three to ask yourself what did i learn from this and will i do this again next time and if the answer is no then you can't continue to condemn and punish yourself because the truth is you are now that new person remember we talked about that an hour ago you were a different person than you are now it's the same thing every day you become a new version of you you guys have a wonderful monday learn from my mistakes <laughs> I hope we grow and learn together. You have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon.